Hi guys, welcome back to the channel and in this video we are going to talk about container runtimes. So Docker provides you functionality of managing images, managing, managing containers, build images, share images via Docker Hub and run containers. So each of these functionality was independent of each other. So when Docker was implemented initially in 2013 as a monolithic, even then these functionalities were independent of each other. So what companies like Docker, Google and CoreOS, they did is they got together, broke out their code, I mean their way of implementing uh, containers and created a library called Run C. And this was done as a part of an initiative called Open Container Initiative or OCI. Container runtimes are basically divided into two categories, low level and high level. Low level container runtimes focus on actual running of container, something like run C. And high level container runtimes provide features like image management and all the other high level APIs, something like container D in Docker. So we are aware that a container is nothing but combination of namespace and C groups, right? Namespace defines what a container can see or what a process can see and C group basically define what it can use, what resources it has access to. And base and what low level uh, container runtime does is, is basically manage this C group and namespace. These low level runtimes actually support using these operating system features, right? But if you're working with uh, Docker or any container, uh, basically any container engine, you wouldn't just want to run a container. You would definitely want to basically manage your containers, manage your images, share your images, right? So all these features are implemented by high level container runtimes like container D in Docker, right? At last, I would just like to give you a few examples of low level container runtimes uh, like run C is one and RKT. RKT is a very special kind of container runtime. It actually has features of both. It acts as a low level runtime as well as a high level runtime. And if I talk about high level runtime, we have container D, which is our Docker, basically Docker is comprised of, right? Container. So you would find run C and container both in Docker. So run C is basically used for low level uh, implementation, like running of container, just concerned with running of containers, where container D is more concerned with high level operations, like creating APIs, uh, managing APIs, managing images, uh, sharing of images and things like that. Alright, so this is it for this video guys. I hope you found it uh, basically interesting the difference between high level and low level container runtimes, what are container runtime and I was able to clear, clear your doubts, right? If you have any doubt, if you think this was not enough, please do comment in the video and I'll come back to you. So please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.